So NVIDIA just... Uh, whoops. NVIDIA just had their event where they showed off the... God, I'm so giddy right now, I can't even get my intro right. So NVIDIA just finally held their event where they fully showed off their RTX 3000 lines of graphics cards, the Ampere Architecture graphics cards, and holy shit, these are going to be good ones. Just to kind of give a little preview of what we're talking about here, the first off, they didn't do any price hikes. If you've looked through my Twitter for the past like year, pretty much all of us were expecting NVIDIA to do yet another price hike, but they didn't do it this time around. All the cards are exactly in the same price brackets as they were with the 20 series. But not only was there no price hike, but we just saw an absolutely massive, humongous boost in price to performance with the Ampere graphics cards. Here's what I'm talking about here. The $499 RTX 3070 is going to outperform the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti. The $800, $799 RTX 3080 is going to absolutely dust the 2080 Ti, and it's not even going to be comparable. And we're talking like twice the performance here. The 3090 is a $1,500 graphics card, $1,400, whatever they priced it at. I don't have any of the stuff in front of me here. But that thing is so absurd that it's going to outperform the PlayStation 6. And I basically just wanted to make this video so that I could stroke my ego a little bit. So, back in January 2020, I did make a video where I basically warned everyone to tamper your expectations for the next-gen consoles. Sure, in relation to hardware from like late 2019, early 2020, assuming that the consoles are around like 500 bucks in price or so, even 600 bucks would be totally fine, they would be releasing with decently capable hardware for the time. But, I warned people that one, the consoles were not going to match up with the ultra high-end hardware even from that time frame of late 2019 to early 2020, but I also warned people, and I also have been doing this on Twitter for the past like year or so, I warned people that as soon as AMD and Nvidia show off their new stuff, so right now we just got Ampere shown off, and AMD's gonna show off RDNA 2 soon. Oh, and for those of you that think that AMD's not gonna be competitive, check this little tweet out on the screen here. Um, if you know who this guy is, and you understand what this little emoji means here, yeah, AMD's about to drop some fire too. I warned people that as soon as that stuff was gonna show, be shown off, the new consoles, the PlayStation 5, and the, even the Xbox Series X, which is gonna be the more powerful and capable of the two, are going to be basically equal to lower mid-range gaming PCs. This is what happened with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One when they released. This is what happened with the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X when they released, and now it's happening again. In fact, the Delta is even bigger this time. This is going to be one of the biggest jumps in capabilities between PC and, you know, consoles upon the new release that we've pretty much ever seen. Now, this doesn't mean that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X aren't going to be awesome little consoles. There, a lot of great things are going to be done with them, and they're still way, way more capable than even the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, but... There were a lot of console fanboys all over YouTube and Twitter that were saying that you were going to be able to get RTX 2080 Ti high-end gaming PC levels of performance in a $500 box with both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And they've also been saying that you're going to be basically getting a high-end gaming PC for, again, $400 to 500 bucks. And just like we've been saying, and by we I mean pretty much any PC gamer that can rub two brain cells together, We've been warning you guys that that is simply not going to happen, that the new consoles are going to be mid-range, middle of mid-range at best when they release. And being that the RTX 3080 comes out in just a few months, not a few months, a few weeks, what am I even talking about here? Literally just a few weeks away, and it's going to, it literally makes even the Xbox Series X completely and utterly irrelevant. So I basically just made this video to stroke my ego a little bit, that yeah, I was right, us other PC gamers, we were right. Um, maybe next time new consoles are announced and hardware shown off, maybe this time console gamers won't be overestimating the price to performance of their hardware and won't be thinking that you're going to be getting a super high-end gaming PC for a cheap price. It just doesn't happen, especially nowadays that consoles are pretty much just dumbed down gaming PCs and use the same architectures and hardware. There's only so much of a jump you can do in price to performance. Most of that is just because the console manufacturers buy the stuff in bulk and they can take a little bit of a loss. I'm thinking Sony and Microsoft are probably going to do that this time. Um, it, but other than that, like, it's it's not huge, huge jumps like it used to be back in the 90s and early 2000s. It just is what it is. So yeah, um, if I was to pick out a GPU right now, I would definitely go for the RTX 3080, but I'm actually going to wait to see what AMD has to show off, because frankly, as much as I respect these new RTX 3000 cards, I want to see what AMD has to show off, because frankly, it's been a while since I've done an all-AMD build. I think it'd be fun. 
And again, based on that little tweet that I showed off earlier in the video, I feel like AMD is about to drop some fire too. Ah, what a good time to be a gamer. Um, even if you're a console, if you're a console gamer and you already were expecting everything that I said in this video to be the case, you're still going to have a ton of fun this generation, and the next five to ten years is going to be amazing for gaming. Again, this video is basically just to stroke my ego a little bit to the console fanboys who have been trying to convince me that I'm wrong, that the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are literally releasing at mid-range PC levels. I wonder if this generation, if we're going to get mid-gen refreshes like Pro models, I could see it happening. This generation, we saw it happen because basically halfway through the generation, 4K TV started to become more widespread, and Sony and Microsoft didn't really have any hardware to answer to that. Like, none, like sure, their stuff would look okay on a 4K TV, but they wanted some hardware that would take advantage of it. This generation, it's going to be all about ray tracing and AI and other effects that, sure, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are going to be able to do in the beginning, but I wonder how well they're going to be able to do it. Like, come just a few years from now, if we already saw this much of a massive leap with Ampere and what we're about to see with RDNA 2, then the consoles are going to, they're either going to have to get, we're going to have to get new consoles in about four to five years, which is the normal lifespan for consoles before the 360 and PS3 came out, or we're going to see mid-gen refreshes again. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, either way, super excited, giddy, both because I get to stroke my ego, but also because gaming hardware is just going to be amazing. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Go follow me on Twitter. I leave my Twitter handle in every single one of my videos, so please go follow me on there. I'm active on Twitter every single day, even though I barely post on here. Um, I am going to be building a brand new PC soon, but I, like I said, I'm going to wait to see what AMD shows off on both the GPU and CPU side, because I don't want to buy something now and then realize that, oh wow, much better CPU option just came out on the market. Plus, we can already see that the price for SSDs and RAM is going down right now, so this upcoming next few months is going to be the time to buy stuff like that. Anyways, y'all have a good rest of your day.